okay guys so this is the foundation routine video I have made for you guys so from the beginning I'm going to describe again I have cleaned my face with pixie toner then I forgot to show this one I use the oil Rosalie oil to moisture my face and then I spray my slate setting spray for my face which is optional and then I prime my face with the Benefit Pro Primer and I use my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and concealer I use Shape Tape from again a Tarte and for my pigmentation I used Boeing Boeing from Benefit and then I use my finger to warm my foundation all over then use the beauty blender from sephora to blend all over i have used the laura mercier under eye whitening powder just under my eyes and cat bond in natural uh, translucent powder all over my face i warm up my face with the sephora uh, medium number 30 micro smooth powder and at the end I just highlighted this area and a little bit this area with Max C3. Yes, I always number in the top because it's hard for me to from the from here. And for that's the foundation routine. And I definitely did not went for very high contouring. I did a mild contouring with this one, and then I can you can use on top of that cream or cake or anything you want but this is what I used and blush and I used the next this one and highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit so so f and then at the end I just kept it for you guys because I like to show it on the camera so this I did not did any um, eyeshadow um, eye makeup because after this I'm gonna with this foundation I'm gonna throw another I make up that so I kept it here so this is pretty much the basic rule of this and it's a very simple rule if you do not understand anything just practice practice makes you perfect I'm still also watching a lot of uh, very famous uh, youtubers because I believe learning never ends so this is it using the pixie toner mm, I love the smell and the color I'm all about I think all women not I can't take the all women we are very much fascinated with beautiful packaging okay, this video is my full makeup routine excuse my lashes purposely I did not open it from my last video I hope I can do my eye makeup with this lashes on if not I'll remove it so after the toning of my face I like to slay my Red Cosmic Slay makeup spray. I don't know, every time I feel like spraying it all day, all day, all day long. This is not the part of your makeup, but I love to do it because the smell, it makes me calm. Okay, now I'm gonna use my, you know what it is, you know, every time I use it. Well, I use the Smashbox one also, the one has matte finish I'm using the foundation from Too Faced Born This Way my color is natural beige and I am 100% happy about this foundation and I like when something is on pump. I'm gonna pump on my this diamond ring. Yes, it is 50 carat. Just kidding. <laughs> you kidding? What? <laughs> so first, I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. I like my finger because it warms up my foundation. You know, guys. Um, with this foundation i mean i'm so excited about this and i don't even feel like doing my concealer i just kind of feel that i don't need it it's such a smooth uh, coverage 
but since this video is all about how to do your makeup foundation routine I have to go all the protocol but just like see if you can close like I don't see any flaws I mean it's super smooth super covered but you know this is this part it's very very bluish uh, grayish um, pigmentation I have this is very hard with any kind of product to hide but beside that I am I cannot even say 99.9% I'm 100% happy with this so excited you have no idea how happy we feel when we find your true match sometimes I look like a ghosty with some foundation no matter what color to what color I mix all this crap top but 100% match is very difficult very 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 difficult but we try to mix and match this that but once you have one bottle which matches your color tone but we changes our color in winter in summer and fall everybody changes their color and now with the beauty blender I'm gonna press it so that it goes inside my pores and look flawless and I'm gonna take a little bit foundation and do my lip lining corner of my eyes I'm going to use shape tape from Tarte for my under eye concealer although I don't need much because as I said this foundation really worked very well with my skin again I'm using my finger to warm up the product and dabbing it trying to not stretch too much remember my previous few video I told you guys that when you are highlighting your face this part if you have a face like me round don't drag it up to here so that your face look very wide try to keep it as narrow as possible but if you have very thin sharpie face long nose cheekbones then you can take it as up to here so that it looks more nicer and more sharpier but unfortunately I have a round football shaped face so I have to be very careful so I just wanted to share with you guys and whatever left on my finger I like to press it on the top of my nose the bridge of my nose using a little bit on my forehead Wherever I want to show off a little bit, I will put just a tiny tiny bit. My this area is little grayish, so I'm just gonna do that area also. You know your face better than anybody, so you know where to put this highlighter. It's just a matter of technique. And the more you watch, the more you learn. Try to watch each and every famous YouTuber. I can name few. Nikki Tutorial, my all-time favorite. Until I die, I will keep on watching. Guess who is that? Of course, my girl Irene Shah. And the new upcoming YouTuber, which is one of my very very dear person i love to watch her fun she's a very funny very lively person she's also from my country bengali and um, sharifa yasmin so proud of this girl and of course patrick star huda of course and who else this time don sayed <laughs> and um, many many youtube i just cannot even countless people i watch and everyone has their unique way whenever i'm going somewhere and my husband is driving i'm watching them before i go to bed i watch at least every day i watch three to four video okay see how smoothly it uh, blend in 
this is another amazing product and now I have to I know I have to use the Boeing Boeing from Benefit number four they stopped making it they have a new one it's okay but this one was my very very favorite I kind of rub my finger here to warm and the product a little bit and kind of very lightly go that because um, it has a peachy um, orangey not orange like peachy tone so you know when you have a gray tone on your skin somewhere it always looks better with the peach uh, concealer peachy peachy concealer Uh, it comes in a point now to bake. Yeah, I just uh, put the powder baking for baking and uh, I wanted to show you guys the diagram or the way which powder should go where. So at this point if you see the color is absolutely white it's a white brightening powder underneath just my C shape you can say this area this one see the color it's white. So I have taken the brush from Morphe it's uh, M438 and just like that you're gonna just dab it just underneath your eye to brighten your eye area then I take the you can use Laura Mercier this one translucent one and but this time I'm using Kat Von D this powder and you're gonna take the same brush and just apply all over don't forget your nose area, lip side, like so. And I don't bake it for too long because I have a very, very excessively dry skin. I wish I had my mom's skin. She has such a beautiful oily skin. And then I'm gonna take out the powder, but only this part I will leave it just because of my eyeshadow. At this point this powder is only here just to bring back my color on my face I'm using Sephora uh, it's a smoothing powder number three and micro smooth powder and using the Morphe R3 brush just like that and only the just a little bit because you know you look kind of a ghosty when you don't have color on your face although I'm gonna contour and everything but still just a little bit and then again, just softly, I'm gonna saturate the powder. Now comes to the contouring part. I'm gonna lightly contour today. You can use cream contour, you can use um, stick contour, you can use powder as long as you know your skin. To me, the I don't feel very comfortable with the um, cream contour. I think it takes too much time for me to blend, blend, blend. And um, my, as my skin is very dry, it's, it's hard to like, you know, blend in. So for my nose, you guys who they are watching my video, they know that I love this E47 contouring brush from Morphe and using the Hola bronzer. For my contour, this area I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush As far as the blush and I'm using NYX Intuition one of my very and using the Too Faced very cute small brush I love that brush very soft
and now I'm gonna just highlight this part of my face with C3 powder just to pop up my to just show off a little bit of my contour using the Morphe M407 brush I'm gonna rub the brush and take out excess just underneath my as you can see underneath my contouring zone I'm gonna drag it in my chin also just a tiny tiny press on the forehead because it's a very light color powder just to pop it up and then remember I have a very fat face so what I'm gonna do to bring back the color again I'm gonna go back to my hula powder and just underneath that white like a bright C3 powder from Studio Fix Max I'm going again the other side of the brush like this little bit to blend I'm gonna use the M438 brush and in the meantime I think I have backed enough my underneath this bright powder I'm gonna take that out also I'm gonna highlight my face with this glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hill and it's called that glow and using it's called bubbly from here and definitely I'm gonna use another number three Anastasia Beverly Hills brush it's a very small very soft brush very lightly I'm gonna spray my face face again with the slate from that cosmetic oh that's so good that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe and please show me some love and subscribe and give some comments and let me know what other videos you guys would like to uh, see I can always pull through those for you guys and I appreciate your love and I hope to see you guys again in my next video until then Kudafis bye bye